Welcome everybody and happy fantastic morning to you all. Here we are, more Forest Village and a beautiful sunrise is out today. Hopefully no disasters, but we're going to do what we do and we are going to give a little update. That's right, we are, as in I am. I'm uh, going to give you an update and you guys, mm -hmm. stop, don't, don't forget, click on people, get in first person, get your bows out, kill those animals, man. Don't let them kill your uh, animals and stuff, but uh, I, I enjoy it. Uh, getting all up in the game and uh, checking things out up close. So I'm going to be showing you what's happening. It is now early winter year 22. We're going to get a few more things built. I got a secondary caravan stable. This stable's main job is focusing on getting things from the market that I trade. <coughs> sorry, excuse me, that I trade either into the local warehouse and barn or I even have been extending a, I've needed stone over here uh, things like that nature uh, so other than that it's gonna be as you can see lots of roads being built I mean I needed more roads so everyone's kinda going downtown into the main city uh, taking care of that so I'm gonna plan on my builders being extremely busy with just uh, internal infrastructure work you know Building out our local highway systems and such. Whoa, what's going on in the barns? Okay, never mind. This is just our barn. Everyone dropping things off. I love how they got to go up to the top floor to do that. And uh, things are going pretty well. Uh, I want to extend out the city, which is, well, we're almost at a town. We have to hit 500 people to be at a town. We're still uh, at about that 150-ish range. Uh, but I am going to raise the ground up. And uh, make a nice little spot for our keep. Uh, so just to keep things going, I just wanted to show you year 22. Not much happening. I mean, not much uh, too exciting. However, uh, based on your votes in the last video, thanks for all of those. And even in previous videos, I was able to toggle you into the, uh, to the little new episode here. We went with animals. And we have fingers crossed for cattle. Uh, we're just hoping for a successful expedition, uh, basically. Uh, so it is early spring, year 23, uh, that the expedition is going to return. So that's when I'm going to bring you guys back. Until then, I'm going to be just building roads and uh, taking people over, singing little songs, making people dance, and uh, making people bow down as they should. Uh, so things are going well. I'm enjoying the game so far, and uh, hopefully things keep on keeping on with it with the updates, even though it's full released now. Uh, and then after they've made their, like, we're better than the other company and we're still in development speech, um, they've been a little quiet. So I think they're just trying to let the storm die. But anyway, we've got some defenses to build before the devs come chase me down and come after me. So uh, let's jump forward and see how the expedition has done. Hold on tight, don't blink. Welcome back everybody. We are following Charlie. Charlie in the uh, adventure. Going here, uh, you know, cheer up Charlie, just just cheer up. Now we're heading down, downtown. We built all the roads. We got a bunch of lampposts. I'm gonna be going a little bit lamppost crazy over the next few years as well, just to brighten the place up. So I don't even have to about think about skipping the nights. Uh, but things are going well, Just just, you know, Keeping on here. It is spring year 23, and and expedition was a success. New resource discovered. Moo, moo. That's right, everybody. Moo. We got cows on the way, so we're gonna have to build a cow pasture. I thought it would just be a pasture, a pasture, a pasture, but there's actually now sheep pasture, and it brought up pasture in its own right, cow pasture. Which means since we've unlocked it, just like the chickens or anything like that, even if we have them die, anytime you build a pasture, you get one. Okay, so that's not a lot. It's hard to breed with one. So what you could do is build a few and go from... Really, you came all the way up here, dug one piece of land, and now you're going to go home. No, not today. you got to get harder work than that, Missy. You know, I've been having a problem with this. Uh, with the hunting. If I spam that one button when I pop in here to do the little happy song. Like, I got no arrows right now. I can switch. See, press the string. Nothing. I can cancel. Where's my arrows? And I know they work, so hold on. Uh -huh. Sometimes just leaving, going back. No, there's my arrows. It's all back. It's all better. Mo better. But not consistent, so there is something wrong there. 
Anyway, there is a Steam achievement for shooting uh, 100 animals in first-person mode. So, slowly been grinding on that. And uh, trees going down. Still a little low on the donkey love over here. Uh, would love some more donkeys. Uh, I sent my spare donkey to the donkey farm. And uh, that donkey died. Uh, it got animal attacked. And I was too slow on the defense. There's actually another Steam achievement for killing the animal once it is on the uh, actual farm. So you gotta wait for the animal to get onto the farm and then uh, do some damage. All right, so we're gonna do two little 18 by 18 farms out here. Uh, pastures, I mean, farms, pastures, same things. Hey, we're growing chickens, right? We can grow cows. Uh, so we're gonna get these uh, growing and uh, let me see. These people are all holding on to stuff. Nope, this guy's not. He's eating. Gus, got a first-person job for you. Go be a killer. Ah, see, I press the horn, and now I don't get my arrows. It's like can't they can't be horny and arrowy at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's not the right term to use. Um, they can't use their horns and their arrows and their bows at the same time. Anyway, I give up on you, Catherine. Get your arrow out. Show them how it's done. Boom. Oh, oh, you can't hide in the grass. Just a boar, nothing that's actually going to hurt my animals. Oh, but the wolf. You can, You were trying, you were dressed up as that pig, weren't you? Sneaky. The wolf will be the death of me. So we're going to get that guy out. That's probably the wolf that ate my goat. My goat. How in the world is a pack mule a goat? Anyway, so on, on the next note... Next vote, guys. What do we want? I'm I'm leaning towards crops. I'd love to get some hops or something, get some stuff brewing. But we don't have any new trees. We are still stuck on just apples. Uh, speaking of that, I'm still working on my defenses. I was actually just flattening out uh, the ground over here. Uh, built up a really large apple farm. Uh, so this is going to be good, uh, I think, hopefully. We've been relying heavily on vegetables. I'd like to get some fruit in on the mix and uh, yes I uh, I've got to get I've got to get got to get people working the farms it is spring so that's right it's crazy now we actually have 40 farmers working See, that's the problem you get to chatting away and you forget to put the farmers out there so that's gonna be good I've already got uh, two more the orchards are now full up this I'm going to completely pave. It's going to take a lot of stone, but I'm tired of seeing all the trees growing in here. Plus, this is going to be another main, main style entrance into uh, the main part of the town. So, going to be working on food, of course. My goal is to let's stretch around to this corner of the island. I mean, look at all the animals are so scared. We've pushed them all to the corner, but don't worry. They got plenty of room, but I would love to finish off... Sorry, pardon the flyby. Almost in it. Look at this, though. We've got this whole area over here. But I'd like to take up an entire coast. Uh, that's going to be a goal. So this is going to be a monster of a crossing, though. But I think it's going to be fun. Maybe we'll actually take advantage. I don't know why we would. But some of these, like, turning pieces and crossing pieces and stuff. Uh, with also... You can even do some nice stuff here, like I could raise the land up uh, quite a bit. Not enough for a land bridge, it looks like. But there are some places where you can you can tweak out a little bit. Uh, I'd like the terrain. The only terrain option that would be a little bit smoother is if we could, like this, look at that. You can actually dip this down. Let's create a little bay. Let's, let's do a little terrain test. Uh, let's do it. Let's do a terrain test up here. Let's extend this bay out. Let's just see what we can do. If we dip this down, like a hill, and say, just drop it down a little bit. And we'll get Jacqueline over here, the good old Jackie. Come on over here and help us build a bay, because we want, we want a little bit more water. Maybe we'll make it a... Good old fishing hole. You know what I got to do, though. Clear it up. Got to clear it up. 
Uh, who else is working? We got Aiden. Aiden and Jackie working in the farms. All right, not today, my friends. We're going to get you over here hauling goods. Get some stone out of the way. We're going to get the stone out of the way. There we go. There we go. Hold on. Hold on. Open inventory. Pick it all up. Take that to the warehouse. He's going to automatically walk that to the warehouse. Uh, but he was not going to pick it up on his own. Sometimes, if you force him to cut down a tree, they'll do the full job. But they're getting a little lazy on us. That's okay. That's okay. I can make them do what I want them to. Mm -hmm. And then Anoka. This is good to build. So, oh, no, it's not. Is it not? Come on now. What do you got in there? You got nothing in there. What's your problem? What's your problem? You already say you got five people working on it. Uh-huh. That's okay. See, okay, he got confused. They were thinking they were mining the resource. They're thinking they're mining re that resource. They're all confused. I've actually was going to compliment the AI for being a little bit smarter with the, uh... Wait, does this need wood? These guys are so confused. That guy brought wood so she could take the wood. Oh, see, I just tried to help him and I got him all confused. I was going to give it compliments. Just yesterday I was playing without uh, recording, and I was amazed at how you can kind of throw the curveballs by taking over a character, doing a job, and you know somewhere that was someone's job, like someone was already on their way to do it, and it usually handles that well, but when I try to show it off for reals, uh, crash and burn, crash and burn. Anyway, I want to start getting some more paths built out here. I think it's going to look good gonna make it look a little bit more professional in the farming area and uh, nothing fancy nothing stone oh uh, up to the oh that scarecrow is kind of in the way that's fine they don't really need to get walk through here it's all an illusion it's all an illusion uh, now can I not okay just can't build any closer to that that's okay I want to get rid of these grassy areas and uh, see, this is gonna. This is where my builders are getting a lot of their time taken up because I'm going crazy with pathing all over. But it's more the flip side of I was so relaxed on the pathing that now it's time to t kind of fix that. I got I gotta fix that stuff up. I'm gonna go that there, that there, and oh, I don't really want to, but another stone. And uh, one last stone. That's a lot of stone. And one more. I can actually get all the way in here. Wow, I like it. Okay. See, this is the kind of stuff I've been doing and haven't really been showing. And now you kind of understand why. It's, it's good. It's a necessary thing. But it's not the most entertaining. I like to show you guys once it's all done. So anyway, we've got cattle. Uh, are my pastures uh, built? Almost. I'm going to build these pastures up and I'm going to bring you guys into the future since it's getting all dark and hazy. But is this not looking a little bit better? I love our main entrance here. And even the, the uh, downtown area, it was really way too many trees and stuff. So we're going to work that out. I'm going to get another house or two built up in here. Start making it look more official. And uh, hold on, it's getting dark. I'm scared. Hold on. All right, a year 24, already early fall. I'm a lot happier. It's not so dark and scary. Uh, I got a few more lampposts up, and the defenses are going up. We finally have the defenses full out on one side. In case the raiders came to attack us, eh, uh, eh, maybe, maybe, maybe. They hint at Vikings or somewhat of things that might come attack us at some point. We shall see. Anyway, I'm going to be building up a watchtower as well to be safe. One thing I like about the watchtowers now is how you can upgrade them and use them instead of a hunter to hunt. I mean, not to actually get materials, but to keep, say, uh, I'm going to be building a watchtower up by... That's right. Moo. Now it's already dark again. Uh, moo. Moo. All right, so our cows are over here. I got two of them. I remember, we got one from the expedition, and then I built another uh, pasture here and moved them over. Hopefully to uh, get a little bit more growth. This pasture was where um, I originally had a cattle, but it was way too big and uh, there was an animal attack. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. 
and then I'm probably going to rebuild a smaller one, get that extra cow, and uh, push it over here. So things are going good on this little uh, inland uh, peninsula y thing. Or is this a total island? I think it's actually completely separated out uh, by water. A oh, little bit of a connection there, but that little water stream, I still say that this is its own little island. Uh, so very interesting. And things are still moving along. I've got all the defenses on this part of the island as well going on. A lot of stone, a lot of wood. So, uh, Andes, Andes, we've seen you before. Give us a little walk around, a little walkabout of the town. Uh, carrying food to the house. Uh, food has been doing pretty well. Oh no, a tornado is spotted near the village. Uh, really? Really, is it now? They just need to, like, say that there's a tornado. Because if it's not really near my village, it's not really near my village. I'm finally starting to learn my way around this massive island. I'm gonna start building farms out this way. I love this lake area. How cool would it be to kind of rework this little island here? Like you can even still see the town from off in the distance. Rework this. I should do something massive. Oh, ah, ah, ah. I should, uh, I got ideas. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna mess around with this a little island later, like way later. Uh, but I'm gonna show you what I'm working on a little bit up close. The, uh, I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit like an Egyptian here. I've been doing some pretty mean slave labor on getting this terrain built up in a very pyramid -y fashion. Worked out really well, really easy, actually. I just did the, uh, raise lower ground, picked a large area that will be larger than, say, the keep, and popped it way up, and then built rampies on the sides of it. So working that out... Uh, filling this out towards the back so it will teasers spoilers boom gonna be for this big keep and uh, thanks for the suggestions and of course we're gonna put it up higher to look down on everybody but uh, we might have multiple keeps this will be a keep one and uh, ooh, I'm thinking about that lake so, you know, I'm wondering if I can pull something off with a bunch of bridges and it'll take a lot of work and that's too far of a walk for the current laborers, so that's definitely a future for future plans, future plans. A lot of other stuff's going. I've got a secondary barn, castle barn, that is being built. Uh, we got another big house going in. Uh, we, we built two houses in the city. Neither one of them I got to uh, upgrade, and I'm too scaredy cat to uh, upgrade it and kill off a bunch of people. I'm waiting until I get some other houses, but I do want these to be the larger houses, or the upgraded houses at least, uh, in the, the town area. So, we'll get to that. And things are just moving right along. Food is finally, like, I hit the end of winter and I went below uh, 5k food. So, pushing up the population, as you can see, we're up about 780-ish almost. And working on, working on... So put votes down for the next one. But I am going to send an expedition out, made a Monte Rico Gaming executive decision uh, that we are going after some crops. So we're going to do that. Oddly, out of everything we built, we are a dry, dry place to live. We have no booze, no tavern. So we're going to fix that for sure. Like ASAP, one of the first things we do is... I've got to get some terrain flattened over here, room for uh, the tavern. I want to figure out where I'm going to plop that in the city area. And uh, check it out. Lots of lamps in the city. So again, still a little dark at night, but I'm getting there. I'm going to make it to where we can really enjoy all the areas. So I've got one more year. I want to jump forward. I'm so excited. We got the cows. We've got... Uh, we're up in all our little achievements. I've been definitely achievement hunting on hunting people and, well, hunting people, hunting animals in first person and uh, growing chickens and now we're growing cattle and uh, sheep. Those are both achievements. And there's the next big population milestone I want to try to accomplish with the save game is 500 people. So I'm going to be doing some major expansion, but I want to get this initial city really cleaned up with proper trade between the barns. Uh, I want to increase the amount of uh, pack mules I have. 
and I would like to really finish off all the road systems. So I really kind of slowed things down the last two or three years, but we're moving right along because of it. So thanks for joining. Hold on one more second. Let's jump to 20, 2015. Wow. Going back into the future? No. Year 25, so into the future. Here we go. Hold on. Welcome back. Well, I uh, I have news that I didn't expect to have. Um, sorry, buddy, another YouTuber, but Kilner Sky died of old age. Um, didn't know you were that old, buddy. Um, good. I mean, we, we, we all enjoyed all your series and no, no, no. Best of... Best health the sky, but I thought it was kind of funny that, um, boom, you know, I guess, I guess stayed up too late recording YouTube videos and, uh, came to work, work in the kiln and, uh, fell right in. Anyway, Sky, go check his page out. He's got some cool stuff, very similar stuff to, uh, what I do. Um, he's actually doing a brand new Transport Fever series. Anyway, that's something I need to get back into. We got three cows. We got a watchtower, like I said. Monty don't lie, but we do need to upgrade it for it to actually get firing effectiveness on the animals, which I have not witnessed a watchtower fire at an animal. So hopefully this one is in a position to show that off. Uh, over here, I finished off the walls and I'm going to be adding a stone tower just for fun because it looks good. Uh, and I'm also going to be building out a external small house for everyone out here. Haven't even thought about building out that bridge, so... Things are going well. The port, almost done. One more pie. Just got to make that meat pie and uh, things will be good. But make sure you guys keep track of your stats here and if you're running out of something, you ain't going to be able to build nothing. So, uh, also, over the winter, my uh, stonemasons really went to work here and paved all this off nice. I still like keeping some more dirt uh, farms around here. I think I might keep that greenery in case a, a tree is planted. And you know, I actually forgot mm -hmm. that uh, another steam achievement is uh, for planting trees. And I haven't done any planting of trees. And now that I just hit the horn, I can't plant trees right now. But I'm going to come down here check out our new two fishing spots which I like right by our stone mine and I remember playing some life is fuel your own and having some of these stone mines and mines like right up on the water looking good folks looking good all right here we go we're gonna drop a tree boom yeah you plant so many trees that's a steam achievement that's the first tree I have planted in first person mode so anyway things are going well like I said I'm mainly just stuck on building lots and lots of roads and I mean everywhere, even out in this direction, no lies, remember, here we are. Get our bearings by the windmills. Going up this way, we are uh, building more farms out this way. So it's going to be good times. Hunting cabins going well. Food's on the up. Uh, I'm still definitely low on fruit. I'm hoping to get this going. I've got a huge orchard out here. And with the new castle barn up close, I'm hoping that that's going to provide quick transportation. So I'm thinking also, I need more pies. So I think I'm going to, maybe more windmills, more wheat, more stuff. A whole other, like, bakery district or something. Because I need to really get that going with a focus. Right now it's all kind of like plopped around random. Um, I like my little fishing bakery here. I might even add more... Uh, fisherman lodges around this little thing here and uh, I don't know I don't know I don't want to get rid of the initial shacks or anything but I might just to clear it up I'm like get rid of the whole original area uh, but we shall see so let me know I'm I, I know I hate I hate leaving you guys in the dark so let me show you Ooh, even over here I'm putting down the lamp post somewhere lit up that we don't usually see lit up and uh, I'm excited to uh, try out some of the mods. I saw someone just threw something up in the workshop that had like a bunch of decoration items. Uh, but again, I don't want to mess up with my achievements and the save. So we're still just going on vanilla, checking it out that way. And uh, don't you worry, we will be checking out uh, mods soon as the river runs red. I will uh, see you guys next time. Hopefully everything is all good. Man, I love this game up close. The crows flying by. We got everything cool going on here. So uh, more next time. I'm glad we made it all the way to year 25. 
And uh, we got some people dying off of old age. That's been the problem. Uh, so we're refilling them with babies, but let's get a little bit more housing available and uh, keep on keeping on. You guys do the same. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great weekend.